Hey, 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 Facebook. I'm going to wait on Facebook to build me an audience. As you come on, let me put my phone on, on mute. As you come on, can you share and tag somebody. Tag somebody you love. Tag somebody you care about. Tag somebody you want to motivate on today. I know y'all not used to seeing me in the middle of the day. But I got a word for somebody. So don't come on to spectate, baby. Act like you are in need of confirmation for something great that's in your life. You the one that's watching this video. As you come on, please come on and tag seven people. Tag seven people you want to inspire. Tag seven people you want to motivate. Tag seven people you want to uplift on tonight baby on today rather i'm so used to ministering at night but i had to pull over on the way to get me some lunch to bless somebody do you get what i'm saying god told me to come and tell you the one that's watching this video baby sometimes you got to lose to win again come on come on come on i already feel god's presence but y'all know i can't be released and to everyone is on here who's supposed to be on here on this evening. And to everyone is on here who's supposed to be on here. Don't just get on here to spectate. Don't be stingy. Share this live video like you shared all that coronavirus stuff. Share this live video like y'all sharing all this unemployment and PPP plug stuff. Share this live video like you share that fight that you seen on Facebook. Share this live video like y'all share all this stuff about black. Black Lives Matter. Share this live video like y'all share videos about everything else. Let's talk about something inspirational. Let's motivate. Let's uplift on somebody. Do you know, watch this, that just being obedient, like hitting tag and share is another way to sow a seed when you ain't got nothing. Oh, see, I just blessed somebody right there. This video on today, I stopped by your screen on your timeline. It's not by coincidence that you are on here. If this is your first time meeting me, I am Evangelist Shakira McFadden. If you are trying to be uplifted, motivated, you want to come to my page. If you are looking for transparency and realness, you want to come to my page. I was driving down the road and God came and, and, and spoke to me. I, 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 I just stopped for a minute, a minute from doing my one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions to step out and get some lunch. And I pay attention to everything when I'm driving. I want to encourage you to start paying attention to everything around you. I pray and ask God to speak to me in every way possible. As I was driving, God told me to come on your timeline today to tell you sometimes you got to lose to win again. It's so many people that are ashamed about losing. It's so many of you that are upset because you lost everything. Some of you have lost um, your house. Some of you have lost your cars. Some of you have lost a man or relationship or woman you were so in love with. Some of you have lost children to the street. Some of you have lost children um, being pregnant and you've had a miscarriage. Some of you have lost your children to the system. But why Watch what I am telling you. I don't know who this is getting ready to bless. But God said, watch this. Even in the midst of your finances, even in the midst of your struggling, sometimes you got to lose to win again. Some of you have lost financially. Oh, this right here is getting ready to bless somebody. Some of you have been in a place in your life where you lost your mind. You had to get into that place you were in. Watch this. To be blessed later on in life. God had to allow you to go to that through that drug addiction that almost took you out mentally. God had to allow you to go through that issue that almost took you out physically. Some of you watch this had to lose your good health to win again. You have no idea that when God do things, he do them for a reason, for a reason and for a season. You are in the season that you are supposed to be in, in your life at this very moment. God is not a God of mistakes. I need somebody to comment below. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. The very thing you lost that you are ashamed of, the very thing that almost broke you, the very thing that almost took you out, it was all according to the plan that God had over his life for you. Sometimes you got to lose in life to win again. Some of you have, lo um, have lost your, uh, uh, your joy. Mighty God, that right there alone.
That right there alone. Some of you have lost your peace. Some of you have even lost yourself. You're not the same person you used to be anymore. Since the trials and tribulations came along, you're not the person you used to be anymore. Since you started with this court case, you're not the person you used to be anymore. Since you've been evicted and got to lay on somebody else's couch, do you know you're the one that's watching this video? Sometimes you got to lose to win again. Mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah, boy. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. God does not make mistakes. You are not a failure. You are not a quitter. You might, it might take a little longer for you to get it. Everybody around you buying houses, everybody around you buying cars, everybody around you wearing 30 inch lace wigs, everybody around you got on name brand tennis shoes, everybody around you looking like money. But do you know it might take a little longer for you to get it because you're doing it the right way, but back Baby, your day is coming. It's taking a lot longer because you had to lose some things to get in this space. You're in and your life is taking a lot longer because you had to go through some hell to be in this space that you're in in your life. It's taking a lot longer because you dang near had to lose your mind to get in this area that you're in in your life. But baby, hear what I'm telling you today. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. You better keep pushing. You better keep pressing. You better keep trust in God. If nobody else is in your corner with your business ideas, as long as you got God, baby, you better go forward with it. If nobody else is rooting your marriage on, as long as you got God, baby, you better keep on praying and trusting God. If nobody else is with you, while you laying in the house for the beds, why you gotta take your medication, seeing doctor after doctor, as long as you got God, baby, you better keep pushing. It's taking you a lot longer because your oil is different. Who Jesus, let me bless somebody right there, baby. It's taking you a lot longer because the call that God, God placed on your life is more harder than some other people. It's taking you a lot longer because the call that God got on your life, it's, it's a lot different than other people. You don't survive rape. You don't survive being betrayed. You don't survive being touched on as a child. And it's so generational. It done fell down on your children. I don't know who I'm speaking to. But it's taking a lot longer for you to get to your breakthrough. And your breaking point. Because you done been through some things. But sometimes you got to lose. To win again. Don't let people make you feel like you're nothing. Because they're further than you. Who? Mighty God. Oh, I don't know who I'm blessing with that. I know it's not by coincidence that I'm sitting my beak behind in this car sweating. Wig all sliding back and everything like that to uplift you. Baby, don't judge a book by its cover. You better not focus on the rapping, but focus on the gift I got in my belly to push you and motivate you. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. Some of you have lost friends. Some of you have lost family. You still trying to figure out 20 years later why you the black sheep of the family. Who cares? Sometimes you got to lose the win again. You got to lose the ones who's doubting you. You got to cut off the ones that don't believe in you. You got to let go of the ones who keep speaking down on you. Sometimes you got to lose the win again. So you're going to feel it like you depressed. It's okay to feel like you alone. It's not by coincidence that God got you in the space you're in in your life. Why? Because there's a separation for preparation. Sometimes you got to lose the win again. I thank you for all the seeds being sown to my cash app, PayPal, Zelle, and Chime. Please do not sow into my ministry. You heard me right. Unless God is leading you to. And if you're sowing on today in the memo section, I want you to put sometimes you got to lose the win again. Too many of y'all sowing and don't know what you're sowing into. 
A lot of ministers won't tell you not to plant a seed. But I'm saying if you don't believe in the God that sent me, baby, don't do it. But if you're believing that you lost everything for a reason and that you're going to bounce back, baby, then the information is below. Sometimes you got to lose to win again, people of God. Your failures are about to push you into the greatest days of your life. I need somebody to comment below. My failures are about to push me into some of the greatest days of my life because I've been through too much hell for this anointing on my life. See, I don't look like the average person. Because I done been through hell. See, I don't talk like the average person. Because I done been through hell. See, I don't, I, I don't, I don't need a big crowd. I'm okay with being alone. Because some of the hardest days of my life I went through alone. You, the one that's watching this video. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. You are entitled. Excuse me, y'all. Lord, pray for this wig of mine. You are, in, you are entitled. To determine your energy. You are entitled to determine who you let around you. You are entitled to determine who you want to keep in your circle. You are entitled to say, no, I don't forgive you. You are entitled to get everything that is not like God up out from around you. Some of you are still stuck in misery because who you connected to, baby. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Some of you are still failing because who you are let loud near you. You such a good person. You positive. You love helping people. You have a giving heart. But the people you connected to is keeping you back, man. It's cutthroat season. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. It's going to take for you to lose your mind in some situations. It's going to take for you to be sitting back like, how did I get here? I had this and that. How did I get to this very place that I'm in? And God is saying, sometimes you got to lose to win again. Why are you ashamed? You just in between blessings, baby. You ain't broke. You in between. Oh, I need somebody right there. I thank God for all the seeds that are coming right now, baby. I want you to put in the memo section when you sow it, baby. I ain't broke. I'm in between blessings. Who? You lost everything. You lost everything. But you right where God needs you to be right now, man. You keep pressing. You keep pushing. You ain't broke. You just in between blessings. God ain't delayed your stimulus and your taxes for no reason. It's because what he about to bless you with is way bigger than that. Somebody ought to comment below. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. Oh, I don't want you to just get on without tagging and sharing. You ought to bless somebody else with this word on today. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. Some of y'all done had to pick up and move to a whole nother state without knowing nobody. Some of y'all done sat there, your house caught on fire with everything in it. Some of you gave everything to a man that got up and took everything and left you for the next person, man. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. Although you ain't want to let good D Steve go, you know Steve with Steve, the one you so crazy about with the good D, the good sex, he know how to smack it, flip it, and rub it down, but can't be there for you emotionally. He know how to roll his joints, but don't know how to uh, uh, help you with your bills. You know, good D Steve, whoever your Steve may be, baby, can I just keep it real with you for a moment? That one you ain't want to let go. You okay with them going to be with the next woman and the next person? Sometimes you got to lose the win again, baby. God can't send you your husband. God can't send you the stepdaddy to your children until you let good D. Steve go. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. And take all that in this season. You keep pushing. You keep pressing. You keep trusting God. You keep having faith. Because all it is is that you're in between blessings. You just in between a blessing, baby. God ain't forgotten you. So yeah, everybody around you might look like they balling out of control. 
Everybody around you might look like their prayers being answered but you. Everybody around you might make you feel like, God, when is my turn? You next. It's taking a lot longer because you had to go through the struggle. But God said the struggle is what's going to strengthen you. Somebody ought to comment below, my struggle is my strength. My, my struggle is my strength. So you can laugh now and cry later, baby. Because I had to lose that house. I had to lose my car. I had to lose that child. I had to lose my relationship. I had to lose my mind even. To get where God is taking me. Sometimes you got to lose the win again, man. If you are recording, baby, this is the time. If you got an Apple iPhone, let me fix my wig, baby. It's my throw-on wig, my hair appointment tomorrow. But I said, God, I don't care what I look like. I got to deliver the word. So if you are now using an Apple iPhone product computer, please hit screen record right now. So you can retag and reshare what I'm about to say over the next two minutes. Because I'm about to take these next two minutes to change your life. You the one that's watching this video, baby. It's not by coincidence that you were on here. God wants you to know he took it away for a reason. Some of you have lost your joy. Some of you have lost your peace. Some of you dang near lost your mind because of that man. Or that girl. Some of you have lost your finances. Some of you are about to lose your home. Some of you have lost your car. Some of you have lost your children. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. Pick yourself up. You not broke. You just in between blessings. Your season is now. Your season is here. Don't give up. Keep motivating. I'm being motivated. Keep pushing. Some of you have had to even lose your own mama and daddy because they never meant you no good. Always talked about you. Always looked down on you. Rather be with men, uh, mama rather be with a man than, he, than, than spend time with you. Daddy rather be out there sprung out on drugs than spend time with you. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. Some of you it's going to take for you to cut off your bestie and your best friends. Some of you this season, you walking in, it's going to take for you to cut out family members. Baby, I'll see you at the fish fry. I'll see you at the next family reunion. Some of you, it's going to take for you to cut off all the outside world so you can hear from God clearly. Silence all the noise. You can't hear from God. I was just telling my friend today, I, where I'm at right now, I'm hearing from God like crazy. If you ain't got a dime in your pocket, baby, long as you can hear from God, baby, you got a plan. All you need is a prayer and a plan to make it. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. You got this. Stay motivated. You got this. You about to quit right before you get to the finish line, man. Everybody running their own race. But with you, it's taking a lot longer because you special to God. With you, it's taking a lot longer because you're getting it from the mud. With you, it's taking a lot longer because you want to do it the right way. With you, it's taking a lot longer because your testimony is stronger. You don't survive raped, being raped. Me too, multiple times. You don't survive being the black sheep of the family. You don't survive being the one they counted out. Me too, multiple times. You don't survive sleeping on the on people flowing in your cars with your children, man. You better pick your head up. Don't be ashamed about living on Section 8 and low income, baby. You about to buy your own house soon. Don't be ashamed of your food stamps, baby. Spend them. Get every type of cereal. Oh, oh I love food stamps. Get every type of cereal you want. Do what you do until God place you where you can do something better. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. I done been called everything, ghetto. That's the way God created me. I done been called everything. Toughen up. If you could get out there and fight over a man, toughen up. If you could get out there where he tight behind Waste shapers that squeezing all your intestines together because it's hot girl summer. Ain't that's what city girls say. Baby, it's hot. It's it's hot girl summer. You rather be in pain to look good. 
You can lay on that table to get your butt done, your tummy tuck, and your titties done. Excuse my language, but I'm a realist. You could go through all that pain and heal up. You could take a little pain from the devil, man. Don't let him knock you off your game. Now, some of y'all giving up too soon on your marriages. You might just need to separate for a little bit. Y'all too quick to sign the divorce papers. I've been there, done that. I've been married 18 years now. Oh, I wanted to let bro go. And then every time I wanted to let him go, I'm like, God, if I, if I, if I let him go, somebody else might get that good Peter. I'm just keeping it real. We think that way, ladies. I done been mad with him plenty of times. Uh -uh. If you got to go, I ain't forgiving you no more. Then he come in and, 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 and use the utensils God's blessed him with to, to kind of reel me back in. It's kind of like that that Jody and um, <laughs> what's the name of the movie? She was like, Jody, you hear me? No, Jody. And then she went to moaning. All of us done been there. Could I just keep it real? All of us done been there. If you love them, fight for it. I ain't telling you something just to be telling you, baby. I'm telling you what I experienced. If you love them, fight for them. If you love them, fight for them. And I ain't talking about physically. Some of y'all fighting the wrong way. I'm talking about with prayer. With fasting, cover his mind. These men go through some things that we don't even think they're experiencing. Because they're not emotional. Fight. I don't know who this is for. That warring wife, that warring baby mama, that warring fiance, fight for it. You might got to separate yourself a little bit. I've been there. I don't got to leave my husband because I wanted to silence the noise. Everything distracting me around me so I can get from God. You the one that's watching this video, sometimes they take that, baby. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. Some of y'all, you needed to leave your man and leave your husband. I'm keeping it real, too. Now you married to somebody better. Now you dating somebody who know your worth. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. Everybody's situation is different. Everybody's situation is different. Don't let nobody tell you what you should do and shouldn't do. I just was telling my friend Pam that earlier. I don't want to hear it. I'm making my own decisions because I'm listening to God. You can be distracted by the wrong advice in this season. Somebody ought to comment below, baby, keep your advice. Baby, keep your advice. Keep your advice. I need to hear from God. Keep your advice. I need to hear from God. I don't know who that is for, baby. All advice ain't good advice. I need to get from God. Make sure you write where you can hear properly. Sometimes there's so much chaos in your life that you can't even hear from God, man. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. Okay, Evangelist Shakira. I'm about to get an eviction notice. Okay, Evangelist Shakira. They just repoed my car. I couldn't make the payment because my stimulus was supposed to be here and it ended up not being here, Evangelist. Evangelist, I, I, I've been trying to get pregnant from my husband or boyfriend for years. I finally got pregnant and I lost the baby, Evangelist. I'm afraid he's going to leave me or cheat on me because it was his first child and he's been wanting a child, Evangelist. I, 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 I've been, you know, trying to be the best mother a father I can and you know the system just took my children um evangelist um I, I, I I've been going back and forth with this friendship for years now one minute we friends the next minute we not sometimes you gotta lose to win again it just works that way but God got you if this message has blessed you, I have put the information to the bottom. Be led by God to sow. And if you're sowing cash out, chime Zell is 754-246-0580 in the memo section. I want you to put for sometimes you got to lose to win again. My PayPal is Shakira McFadden with two ends at AOL.com. Sometimes you got to lose to win again. Um, if you guys go look on my page, I am doing counseling sessions all day long. 
I'm a firm believer that everybody need an outlet. Don't let nobody tell you you don't need counseling. If you are trying to get the information to book a counseling section, you can text if y'all could help me out by um, just putting this information to the bottom text. Um, 754-246-0580. Text only. 754-246-0580 to hear my counseling um, session fees. Sometimes you just need an outlet. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Sometimes you got to lose the win again. It's already getting better.